Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. We have plastic. We have regret. We have secretly stalking. Healing. Angry. Okay. Love bomber. So you guys have someone watching you or keeping tabs on you that is in a lot of regret. They wish they could go back and make different choices or they're feeling very remorseful. They're definitely not over you. They're curious to know what's going on with you or they are seeing something because they are watching you. I feel like they're seeing you focusing on yourself um, and moving forward with your life. I feel like this person regrets not treating this like a real love co connection. Like I feel like this person didn't take you seriously or they didn't treat the connection they didn't make the connection a priority. They weren't trying to take things to the next level. They were just trying to keep things surface level. Um, or maybe they were, this was just somebody that was not wanting to come to terms with the fact that they, this was a love, this was love between the two of you. But I definitely see that this person is angry. They're mad. They're angry because you're moving forward. It's like something about... You moving forward is invalidating something that this person felt or thought. We have love bomber. Yeah, they want your attention. You were dealing with a, a cheat, like a, a ladies' man, like a, a charmer, um, someone that was emotionally manipulative, likes attention. Time. Why is why is this person angry? Yeah, I already was getting this intuitively. This person's mad because this person thought that you were going to take action towards them. And I feel like you, instead of taking action towards them. Instead of taking action towards them, they see you moving forward. Focusing on yourself, loving yourself, knowing your worth. And that's like triggering this, it's like invalidating them. It's maybe just they thought, like what they thought is not what's happening. They thought you would be back and you haven't been back. I keep hearing something about self-worth. I feel this person is intimidated by you because of the fact that you're, you're not chasing them. You know your worth. You love yourself enough, enough to not chase them. There's something about, it's making this person feel something about themselves. I'm telling you, the fact that you're not chasing them. It's like kind of, I'm getting like almost like an ego vibe, but we're going to get more clarity. They want to know what you're doing. I just saw 444 on the camera. So that's for me, confirmation. So what Spirit is trying to, the message here today is that this person... Like you chase, if you, if there was a time where you chase this person, um, you would always be the first one to reach out to them, be the one to make amends. You would always come back. You would miss them and you would cave and you would reach out to them. They never really had to be the one to come in and extend the olive branch to, um, you know, they never had to take the initiative. And now you're not, you're not budging or it's not happening as fast as they would like it to. And it's making this person, it's like shattering everything that they thought they thought, they thought they kind of like had you manipulated. Cause we had that love bomber card. It's like this person thought that they had manipulated you. Let's see. Unlocking. What about unlocking? Annoying. Yeah, I feel like something is changing. It's like you guys have like really maybe had some time to take to, to really evaluate the situation. Take a look at yourself. Take a look at this person in the situation. You're looking at it realistically and um, listening to your intuition now. And I feel like you guys are starting to realize that this person that you were dealing with there was a lot of red flags that this this person was keeping a lot from you there were a lot of lies and secrets and i feel like you guys as you're starting to evaluate what you need and you know what's good for you and what's not good for you 
you're realizing that this person is someone that you need to protect yourself from. And I feel like your guts may be telling you that as well. With also, you're just being very mysterious with this person. You're like purposely not showing this person a lot of what's going on in your life or, you know, um, telling them what you're thinking or what's going on with you. Like you're, you're protecting your energy from them. And I feel like it's honestly, you know, you're maybe even viewing this person as a blockage for you that they were blocking maybe. I feel like there's doors opening for you now because you're starting to, what's overthinking. Yeah, I feel like because, you know, I feel like at some point, like this person would get you all up in your head, like you would be overthinking, like you would leave them, but then you would start thinking like creating scenarios, you know what I mean? Well, what are they doing? Like, did they leave me for somebody else? Are they dealing with somebody else? Like, or, you know, there would be, there was a time where like your mind and your anxiety wouldn't let you stay away from this person for long and maybe your own insecurities and stuff like that. And it's like, at some point you were in some type of mental prison over this person or even when you were with them, all right? But I feel like you guys have grown now. Yeah, since the separation. You have grown since this separation. So in a nutshell, you've outgrown this. You're healing and you've outgrown this toxic cycle, relationship, whatever it is that you and this person have been doing. All right. And for this person to be upset with you because of that shows that they haven't quite grown. You know what I mean? You've outgrown them. They feel like they can't let you go. They feel you heavily. Can't escape connection. Telepathic experiences. You and this person could be energetically connected. They're haunted. They can't stop thinking about you. Tell me more about what's going on with this person. Fights. What about fights? They maybe have some drama going on in their life. Or it's like, they either have some type of, they feel very tense and like they feel pressured right now. There could have been some type of fight. That, like, the last time you and this person spoke, you guys could have gotten in an argument or a fight. And I feel like this person's ego is not letting them, has been holding them back from coming toward you. This person had some type of plan here. This person thought that if they just... This person was refusing to, maybe that's why you guys were fighting. This person was refusing to make changes, being stubborn. They were refusing to compromise. They're trying to figure out what to do. I feel like if you guys had a fight the last time you spoke, their ego has been holding them back from reaching out to you. I feel like they were planning on not budging and not coming toward you. But the fact that now you're not coming towards them, now they're trying to figure out what to do. Tell me more. Home. What about home? Beauty. What does this have to do with, with the collective? Money is tight. Ooh. Maybe this person is also afraid to come towards you right now. Because something's going on with their finances in their living situation. And they're intimidated by you. They're intimidated. This is something that they don't want to have to tell you. They're still unava emotionally unavailable or avoiding intimacy or dealing with something. Still not ready to really open their heart. Clarify, beauty. True love. Like, okay, so what's happening with home and money is tight? They're trying to protect and connection, protective over you, don't want to hurt you. Hmm. What does this have to do with the collective?
Maybe this person does not feel like it's the best time to come towards you right now. Why do I feel like there's a situation external? What is spell work? Clean up. Yeah, they're trying to like, okay. Maybe you told this person that they couldn't come back or something. Or maybe this person feels like they have to get their life together before they come back towards you. But I feel like this person is also trying to figure out how they can come back and still not have changed. <laughs> like, I, I kind of feel like that. It's like this, you may, you guys maybe told this person that you love them, but that you, you deserve better. You don't want to have this relationship full of turbulence and drama and issues anymore. You don't want to have another, you don't want this painful love experience with them. It's like this person knows that maybe they need to clean up their life before they come towards you. And you guys maybe told them that they weren't allowed to come back until they did so. Or you maybe told them that that was the reason you didn't want to deal with them anymore. Was because of their chaotic life. For some of you, they maybe have somebody else in the mix. They maybe have a karmic. I don't know. But I feel like this person has also been wanting you to come towards them first. Because... They know that they don't really have anything going for them right now. For some of you, they don't even have a house. They don't, they don't, they're broke. Yeah, I see this being a, see, why does this, we have going in circles, phone call, and runner. Why is this person still trying, they're going to reach out to you. They're still going to be in this avoidant energy. They're still running from working on them learning from themselves they're still going to be running from this connection i feel like they do have an awareness that they do have true love for you or that there was there is true love between the two of you but someone's still not ready so what's about to happen here i see phone call tell me what's about to happen here see self-delusion what about that what's this have to do with the collective foolish yeah, tell me more about that. Yeah. So what, how are they going to handle this? Yeah, how's this person? Yes, okay. <sighs> I swear, guys, I'm sick of this shit. Um, so, yeah, you still have this runner coming towards you, reaching out to you, wanting to talk, wanting to really, pretty much, if you go back into this with this person, it is going to be a repeating cycle because this person has not changed anything about their life, but they still want to figure out how they can have you and still not change and still be avoidant. And um, they, they don't want to lose you, but they have nothing to offer you right now. It's that, it's that energy that's been in the collective, you know? Yeah. But the problem, what's changing here though, I feel like before this person was, I told you before, they were able to emotionally manipulate you. And like, this person's had probably a good talker. They're good at creating illusions, all right? Um, they're about to create, yeah, they're false notions about things. This person's going to try to come in and convince you that you guys can be a power couple or something like that, that you, that you guys clarify um, spotlight. What is this delusion this person's trying to create? See, what about options against time? What is this person trying to just, yeah, we have divorce on the back of the deck. Somebody can be going through a divorce. What is this options card? What's this mean? What's this mean for the collective? See, bad intentions. Why? See, okay. Yeah, timing. That's why I said. It's like this person just feels like maybe the... I mean, is it right? Anyways, so yeah, I feel like this person has been trying to make up their mind about whether or not they want to, like, it's like this person does I like, want something more serious with you, but it's something about they don't feel like the timing is right. But they also know that something is changing about you and the way that you're handling the situation and, and them, and they feel like your feelings are changing about them. They feel like maybe you're, you're exploring other possibilities or... 
you're about to, you're moving on with your life, you're healing, you're moving forward. And that's creating this pressure, it's creating this tension, it's making this person feel like they have to hurry up and do something. That's why they're strategizing because this person knows that they're not ready. First of all, they're not ready to change and they, they their circumstances are just messed up right now, okay? But they also don't want to lose you either. So this person's going about this in a very seven of swords, sneaky ass way. You know what I mean? They're they're coming in with manipulation and trickery and but the, the thing is that they don't they maybe are about to realize is that you guys, like I said, you're in this healing energy. You're in the star energy. You're looking to the future. You're healing. You have hope again. Um, you yeah, you've been healing. You're moving forward. You're, you're you have you have self love now. You practice self care. Um, you have reevaluated things and the things that you desired and that you wanted could have changed now. And you're gonna see this coming from a mile away. All right. You, you you just don't you know that this you're not taking this person seriously when they come back like and I feel like you shouldn't I feel like this person is coming back trying to create an illusion that's what this person does creates illusions they lie to you they tell you that things are going to be a certain way that they're going to do this this and this for you and then they never do it but it's a means to try to keep you from moving forward and I feel like you guys maybe see this now or it's going to be revealed to you very soon that this person plays a lot of games and trick and there's tricks and I feel like you guys are going to reject this person. Clarify out in the cold for how the collector is going to handle this. Yeah, you're going to hold. Oof, this person's going to get left on red. They're going to get left on delivered. They're going to get ignored, okay? Um, they're going to get rejected because, yeah, can't hide in lies anymore. They can't hide behind their lies anymore. Their lies have been exposed. You see this person for who they are. You guys maybe found out some things about them. You realize that this person is a habitual liar. They lie to you all the time. Um, and you guys are, let's see here. Yeah, it's like you guys, yeah, you're accepting this about them now. Maybe before you guys saw the signs um, and you you didn't really want to accept that this person was, you know, somebody that you needed to protect yourself from. But I feel like you guys are coming to terms with it now. And you're getting on the right track now. And you're not going to let this person, I just see them coming back. Because they're sad, they're grieving, they're still even kind of playing the victim, pessimistic, depressed, and um, I feel like you guys are going to cut this person off, I'm telling you. Or maybe this person thought, thinks that maybe, I feel like this person, there's going to be some about proof here, they may want to be coming in, they may want to come in and just see how where you're at, they may want to come in to see if you're sad over them, or if you still... Are hung up on them. Hmm. Before I move on to this, what is this person's problem? Why are they being so stubborn? When they do love you, they have love for you. They're not acting right though. So something about the past. I did see this earlier. So either this person has had some type of bad love experience in the past. And that's making them want to take, like, progress things with you very slowly. Or it's making them be very guarded. Or they have still have a past situation that they still have yet to close out or something like that. But I feel like it has something to do with, like, what they experienced in the past. Why are they treating the collective like this? One more card. What? They're refusing to commit. Grass is greener. What's up with this third party energy? What's up with the third party energy? What about Twin Flame? What is... I don't know, guys. I don't know if there, there could have been somebody else. It's like something that this person's going to have to give up and sacrifice to be with you. And they haven't been quite ready to do that. I don't know, like, 
all I see is this person that's been refusing to fully commit to you that they do feel the same way but like, I don't know I don't even want to what's mutual feelings what's mutual feelings trapped they feel stuck in a situation this person feels like they can't commit to you right now because they're they're stuck huh there's something that what does this person feel like they have to give up what do they have to give up what is it that they feel like they have to give up i don't know guys It could be some type of addiction. Could be a sex addiction for some of you. I keep seeing that. Bad habits, addicted to, yeah, some type of addiction, destructive behaviors. Mm. I just see that this person... There's an intense soul connection here. And I feel like this person, you're starting to focus on you and then they're going to want to come in and try to chase you with a love offer or something like that. Let's see. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Or what's going to happen here. Tell me why, why are they in regret? Yeah, they're just regret. They're regretful because they're, you're not going to give them another chance. This could be a future energy. They're regretful because either they already think that things are completely over and permanently done between the two of you, or they're about to come back because I do see the energy here. Or they already did do this. Either they already did come back and you rejected them, or they're about to come back. And um, you're not going to give them another chance. And they're going to be in heavy regret energy. So what's about to happen here? Eight of Swords. The Star in Reverse, Aquarius Energy. The Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. I just feel like somebody's stuck in their head. You guys are no longer investing any more into this. You have lost hope and faith into this person. You're trying to disconnect from them and you're going in, you're in, you're introspecting. You're going inward. All right. You're listening to your inner guidance now. You've had some type of, even the, maybe the divine showed you the truth about this person and you're doing a lot of soul searching and it, you're, you're withdrawing from this person. You're pulling back all of your energy. You're no longer waiting for them. You're no longer investing any more of your energy in them. You've lost faith in this. And I feel like it's causing somebody a lot of stress. Like this person is flipping the fuck out because they feel you because I have that energetic connection card. This person is feeling you pulling your energy back. They, they're feeling you disconnect from them and they're, they're they're feeling you pull all the energy back to yourself. And um, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy on the back of the deck. See, inability to let go or forgive. There's something from the past that's blocking this person's anything from manifesting in this person's life. Huh. <sighs> I don't know guys this is crazy this de this person definitely created a lot of illusions i'm just letting you know they would they would paint a pretty picture or they would paint themselves in a way that was better than they actually were um to to kind of keep you manipulated or keep you where they wanted you to be I don't know. What is this person about to do? What are they going to do here? See, something they're going to try to 
yeah, the illusion is ending. I feel like this person was also delusion, delusional. Like, remember in the beginning, I was talking about, like, this person thought the fact that you guys haven't returned is shattering this person's de delusion. They thought that you would always come back. They thought you would make the first move. They thought that you would always chase them. Um, they thought that they had a hold on you. Things like that. And the fact that you guys aren't doing it. Is like breaking this person out of some type of illusion. And now they're feeling very, um, they're having a, they're freaking out. Tell me more about the seven of cups in reverse. They're getting clarity that this is not a damn game. See, this is, that's what I was picking up on guys. Why did this person think that they were the shit or something? Okay. I don't know what this person has a big ego. The fact that you guys, because where's that card? The beauty card. I don't know where it's right here. This person is very intimidated of you. You're like this empress energy or this emperor energy. All right. When you would chase this person, it would boost their ego. It would make them feel like they were important, like they were valuable. A little bit too much. Okay. I feel like it ended up went going to this person's head. I'm going to be honest with you. Like I kept getting ego, ego, ego. It went to this person's head. And it, it almost made this person feel like you would put up with anything. You would never leave them. They could do what they wanted to do and you would always be back. It's okay. We can spend a month or two apart or, you know, we can go a couple weeks without talking. It'll be all right. That's how much of a hold I have on the collective. They'll be back or, you know, I'll be able to manipulate them back into, you know, coming back, you know, being with me again. Something is different this time. I feel like you guys are really healing and moving forward with your life now. And you really have been working on self-care and self-love. And your perception of this person has changed. I feel like you and this person are both breaking out of illusions. You're starting to see this person for who they are. And they're starting to see them for who they are too. Let me explain. Um, they thought that they were this king of pentacles upright. Like you made them feel like this king of pentacles upright. Okay. That they had their shit together. That they were valuable. That they were um, worthy. All right. Um... And now that you are no longer wanting to invest in them or you're pulling your energy back and you're not chasing them, they're starting to feel small again. They're starting to feel like they aren't good enough. They're starting to feel like they're not worthy. They needed your validation to feel valuable. This person doesn't feel valuable themselves. Like they don't have that within themselves. So they're getting some type of new awareness or outlook here. All right. They're seeing things. They're snapping out of some type of illusion here. So what's, what does that mean going forward? The six of wands and the, the moon. What does this mean for um, the collective? I don't know, guys. I just feel like, why all of a sudden now? Oh, see, this is that energy that's been coming through, too. Why are they? If they did have a third party, I feel like that's they're free. That's coming to an end. Yeah, I feel like that's coming to an end. Um. See, you guys have somebody that for some reason this person is also, they came out as the king of pentacles in reverse. I told you, money issues, they're about to lose their home and they're going through financial issues or something like that. This, the story is going to be different for all of you, but they're in this king of pentacles in reverse energy. Very unstable, financially stunted, like they're, they're, they're going through it. They're broke, possibly even homeless. They're seeing you. I don't know who had a reading like this. I don't know if it was the last twin flame reading or what, but it's like, this is that energy that's been in the collective where somebody all of a sudden is realizing that they need you almost, if that makes sense.
they feel like being with you will help them recover. This person was leeching off of you. Some of you guys could have been giving this person money or it was just like your energy. This person could maybe feel like when you were around, things went a lot better for them. And then as soon as you were not in their life anymore, shit hit the fan. You know what I mean? And I think they're starting to realize that now. They feel like you are like the key. to improving their financial situation or if this has something to do with self-worth they think that you are the key like when they need you to like boost their ego again or validate them but i feel like it's money for a lot of you i feel like maybe at some point you wanted to work as a team with this person Meaning like maybe move in together, share the finances, whatever. You know what I mean? But I feel like that's not what you want anymore. Now that is what they want. That's why we keep getting this energy of you and this person, the unrequited, not being on the same page. Because now what? Now they want what you wanted before. But now you don't want this with them anymore. Or you're not going to want this with them anymore. Because you're doing just fine on your own. You don't need them. They need you. All right? You don't need them. They need you. And I think they're realizing that. I feel like it took, you know, because of their ego being so big, it took them a while um, to come to terms with that. They didn't want to, but first, but again, guys, like, why is this person only wanting to come back to, I mean, I do see indicators here of them loving you. All right. Um, they're being love and uh, feelings here. But I feel like maybe because, because I did see, what is, what is, Triggering this person to, to see things this way. Don't worry about it. They're unable to move on. They're suffering. They're grieving since the breakup. They've been single. Tell me more. They just don't feel like they can move on from you. And I feel like on top of that, what's up with this money and home situation? Are they, they're going through something. But yeah, it's like they're wanting to take things to the next level. Because... They've been going through some bad karma or something like that. And I feel like it's maybe taking a toll on their finances. It said this person doesn't feel like they feel like they need your help or something like that. I don't know how else to explain it to you. They feel like they need you in their life. They feel like they need you to be able to. They can't do it on their own anymore. But what they don't know is that. Even if this person was coming towards you completely genuine and telling you that they loved you, you wouldn't even probably believe them anymore. There would be a lack of trust there. I feel like you would always be in your head wondering if this person was cheating on you or if they were lying to you or if they were doing something behind your back or this, this, and this, whatever the circumstances were in your situation. All right.